Dude, how you doing? Uh, once I get the hang of it, I'll be fine. Your grandmother's been helping me out. She's a really nice lady. She owns the place. This is pretty nice. And she's a very generous woman. Mm. You really knew what you were doing when you came looking for a father. You got it made. Well, I, I love my new American family. Um, listen, I'll talk to you after Bo sings, okay? Good luck. Thanks. Just call and I'll give you directions, okay? okay? thanks, Leanne. Thanks for everything you've done. I'll call you in the morning. Maybe your dad will come back. Oh, I've yes. never met a real DA before. <laughs> well, neither have I until I met my father. <laughs> and, Dune, can you please give some careful consideration about calling your parents? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Okay. Well, I just feel that they have the right to know that you're all right. Okay? okay? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, please. She and Paul Nightum or what? Um, I was at the pool today, and Andy Dixon said um, Paul's father was a wanted criminal. Is that is that true? Well, uh, yeah. Well, the, the important thing is that Paul's mother is happily married to a wonderful police detective. <laughs> I must get upstairs and see how things are going. Now, you, if you have any questions, ask Lily. Okay. Okay. He is a detective. Better watch your step, Doom. Oh, you! Oh, Doom, I'm so sorry. I bet we scared you out of your mind. Little bit. <laughs> I thought someone was trying to rob the place. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, were you scared? No, I'm not really. I can deal with it. Okay. <laughs> hero. Well, oh, well, Hero, uh, this is uh, Shannon O'Hara. Hey. She's my niece, Hi. and hey, she's Doom. my house guest. Hey, and Doom is Leanne's very, very good friend. Yeah. Oh. Leanne has a lot of nice friends, doesn't yeah. she? Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, um, is everything okay for you in the green room? Yeah, everything's fine. I just have a favor. Um, you do? Ask away. Um, can I have a locker? I have a few valuables I need to put away. A locker? Of course you may have a locker. But if you have valuables, maybe you'd like to have them put away in the uh, safe upstairs in the office. Except how, how much space? This is about this space. Sure, it'll fit fine. Thanks, and we'll get it. Okay. This is great. Oh, look at him. He's eating as though he hasn't had a thing to eat in a week. Oh, hush, Lisa. I think it's a compliment to my culinary talents, I hope. Thanks. I was starved. Mm, you're welcome. Oh, were you up earlier trying to find something to eat? Uh, Lisa heard a noise. That's why Yeah, I was. I can only find some crackers, but this is much better. Oh, and this is too I mean, It's so sweet and polite. Oh, it's just like my little granddaughter. And you're so handsome. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to fuss over you like that. Boys your age, or young men your age, do not like it. I remember Tom didn't like it, and he still doesn't. He, I mean, for me, he doesn't like it. Uh, is Leanne's dad coming back? I'd like to meet that guy. Yeah, he's coming back from Washington tomorrow. What was he doing there? He, oh, I was just going to pour oh, you some. Thanks. Well, he's, he was in Washington because he was working with that uh, crime commission he'd set up. They're trying to find any kind of lead they possibly can on James Steinbeck. Mm. Steinbeck, is that Paul Steinbeck? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but Paul doesn't brag about it very much, and I would not mention it to him if I were you. Mm. Why is that? Because he's a criminal. Oh, yeah, you know, murder, mayhem, and all of that stuff. He, That's how he was also in charge of this international drug ring called the Falcon Ring. Paul's father is a Falcon? Well, what, you've heard of it? Well, sure. I mean, the uh, Frisco Papers did a big story on it. There was rumors that the main operation was uh, the Falcon was based there. Stenbeck's name was trouble all over the world. Mm -hmm. And um, that's why it's been so difficult for Paul. He's just tried to live it down. Mm -hmm. And I know my husband, Earl, that is, he just hopes to be wherever when they catch the Falcon. Mm -hmm. And Duncan, uh, he's my ex-husband and ex mm -hmm. Boy, anyway, it's a long story, yeah. but he despises Stenbeck, too. And you know, Lisa, now that I think about it, I'll bet that's why he took this mysterious trip so suddenly to Europe. Hmm. Is everybody in Oakdale involved with this guy? <laughs> you know, as strange as it, as it may seem, this quiet little town of Oakdale was at one time the, the nerve center uh -huh. for Stenbeck and then his operations when it was at its height. So Paul's father must have a lot of money, huh? Oh, well. Oh, uh, this money's not going to do him any good when the police finally track him down and throw him in jail. Mm. Listen, uh, don't don't say anything to Paul about it. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. I think we're boring him to death yeah, with all this talk of James. <laughs> so uh, we'll go and... and oh, I forgot I was going to take this and put it in the safe for you. All right. Okay. Oh, and Jim, would you turn out the lights for us, please? I'll do that. Okay, nice and, and get you. a good night's sleep. Don't let the bed bugs play. Good night. Nice to meet you. Oh, wait for me. Good night. Good night.
said that Leanne is expecting you over at the Hughes house. She wants you to meet more of the family. So Alba will take you over there whenever you're ready to go. This food is delicious. It really is. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Shannon did it. She's a wonderful cook. She's an expert with Vietnamese cooking. Uh -oh. Well, if you don't mind, I'm a meat and potatoes kind of guy myself. I'm, <laughs> well, I'm an American, too. You are. All right. Meat and potatoes for you from now on. Uh, Lisa, did Bob say that Tom is coming home today? Yes, he is. He's coming home tonight. And he has invited us over for dinner. Oh. Well, what's my work schedule for today? Your work schedule is to be here at 5 o'clock this afternoon. You have the day off to be with Leanne if you like. Oh, that sounds good. Sure. Well, I'll be ready to go in the Hughes in just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, I'll like So how did you manage right by yourself? Oh, real well. Gave me a chance to check the whole place out. Have we met? Oh, I'm sorry. Dune Lee, this is Carrie Sturgis. Family just nice to meet you. You coming to the party tonight? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, by the way, thanks for getting me off work. Oh. Lisa said you really had to talk her into it. <laughs> no problem. Oh, did, did you mail that letter that I wrote to your parents? Yeah, it's on my way over here. Okay. I said I would, didn't I? So you're new. Where are you huh? from? My family just moved from Los Angeles. L.A., huh? Uh -huh. I'm from San Francisco. Oh. I used to make a lot of deliveries down there. Yeah, really? Yeah. I didn't know you made deliveries that far, dude. Yeah, L.A., San Diego, sometimes across the border to Mexico for special clients, you know. You got time for a soda? Oh, that's nice of you, Joan, but I'm sorry I don't. Oh, uh, gee, uh, wait a minute, I can change it. I can walk in the news right? Um, that's okay. I really have to be going now. Okay. okay. Nice to meet you. You too. It's probably been a lot more fun than I thought. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Hey, Dune. Yeah. All right, all right. I'm gonna get something straight. Carrie's gonna be my date tonight. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. I'm just being friendly to another newcomer. You know, I'm hoping to get the wrong idea. No, no, I, I didn't get the wrong idea. I just hope you did. No, I mean it's clear. I mean there'll be a lot of other girls at the party, I'm sure. Andy. Andy. Hey, you guys. Take it easy. Hey. This is the only way I ever get to see you. What is this? I want you to meet someone. Doom Lee. My dad, Dr. Dixon, is the end friend from San Francisco. Oh, how you sure. doing? Nice to meet you. You're a doctor? Yep. I thought I, I was thinking about being a doctor myself once. You must make a lot of money. I can make six figures, right? Oh, yeah, sure. Easy. Of course, it depends on the specialty that you're on. Must be real rewarding, huh? Excuse me. He's on the phone right now saying thanks, but no thanks. That's too bad. I mean, we could have got some good stuff. I mean, she's rich. She could afford to fork over enough for a pair of cufflinks or something. Mm -hmm. When are you going to open your presents, Paul? Uh, yeah, your yeah, mom. Yeah. Yeah. Good your mom gave you a private plane, huh? Dude, I told you I don't like your teasing remarks. Here we go. So in the car I'll bring. I got a couple of joints, too, if you guys are interested. Hey, maybe this party isn't going to be such a drag after all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Paul's too much of a boy scout. <laughs> and these girls are like girl scouts, too. I need to find someone a little more my style, you know? Oh, check out Dee Dee over there, all alone and hot to try. Yeah. Thanks for the tip, Mike. Yeah, go for it. Dee Dee! Here, here. I have a chance to talk to you tonight. I thought maybe, um... You know, we could fix it at the pond. Maybe. Maybe. Do you want some cake? Hey, get that to everybody. Isn't it beautiful here? Yeah, it's okay. Listen, Dune, I'm sorry if you're still angry with me, but I have to tell you when you weren't being fair to Paul. That's no big deal. It's just nice to know whose side you're on. And let me tell you something. No white boy with millions of dollars could be on your side. You got yellow skin and slanted eyes, and you're always going to be an outsider, just like me. And I was born here. Hey, D Day, wait up! Did he say something to hurt you? Um, no, I, I think he was just being honest. He said something I needed to hear. Well, listen, come on. It's been a great night so far, so. And this is the topper right here. Come on. This portion of As the World Turns has been brought to you today by Love's Deluxe with the Night Guard System and truly tear-proof taping. And by Ivory, clean the way it ought to be. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment.